Hello, my friends. Everyone's got some loose balls of yarn laying around. This one, for example, bonus double knit, high field. This one, I think, super saver. Somebody gave it to me, this ball. I don't even have the label. This is also ordinary double knit yarn, but I felt that this one slightly thicker. Uh, this one even thicker yarn, so make this all in one pattern. I came up with this idea. There are so many granny squares, flower granny squares, but you need to adjust this for your tension, for your yarn, and I think I've done a pretty good job. This is beautiful flower granny square. This is perfect square. And when uh, the sun is shining and all the flowers are coming out, I think this can make a beautiful cardigan or blanket. You can put in the comments uh, your ideas about this square. Crochet hook I will be using four and a half millimeters today. And this is very nice and slow tutorial. If you want to speed it up, please go into settings and play this faster. If you want to make it slower, please go settings and make it slower. And of course, subscribe to my channel. Give me likes. And thank you for watching. I will start by making magic circle or magic ring. This is how we make it. You just twist the yarn around two fingers and secure this end. You are making chain one. Magic circle or magic loop. And now we will crochet inside this loop or circle. I need to make 16 double crochets. First I'm making chain 2 and 16 double crochets. Sixteen double crochet. And slip stitch in the first double crochet. Chain one and cut the yarn. I will change the yarn for light pink. Let's connect pink any way you like. And make chain one. And then I'm making cluster or bobble stitch yarn over into the same stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. This is my first cluster or bobble stitch, we can call it either way. Chain 1, bobble in the next stitch, chain 1, bobble in the next stitch, and I will crochet over this pink tail. If you hold it next to your work, 
next to white braid you can crochet over chain one and bobble chain one and bobble I will turn the camera off now. Please pause the video and finish this round. I have finished this round. And let's attach dark pink. Attach it any way you like. making two chain stitches and then I'm making bobble of three double crochets three unfinished double crochets in the next space four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all of them, chain one and repeat the same bobble in the same space. Chain two single crochet in the next chain one space and this is my first petal chain two repeat this pattern in the next chain one space bobble one chain one and one more bobble in the same space chain two single crochet in the next space and repeat chain two bobble one chain one and bobble number two chain two single crochet and I will go around finishing my round I'm at the end of third round. I have my chain one and will finish in the same stitch I started. of the stitch to make it nice and neat there. nice 
so we are making a square out of this flower green yarn for petals I have made three chain stitches yarn over into the same stitch and I'm making another cluster or bobble stitch I wanted to make <coughs> two yarn over so I'm making three trebles And one more in the same place. This is first petal. It will be one corner, two corner, three corner and four corner. This will be the side and I'm making double crochet, three chains and going for the next corner. three chains and one more cluster we can check that this can create me a square so this should lay nicely for the square if it does not we can always vary <coughs> amount of uh, chain stitches uh, right now I've got three chain stitches everywhere and this fits nicely in the pattern with my tension and my kind of yarn. Double crochet and for the corner three clusters of trebles.
almost there. <clears throat> almost there. One more. I must stop the camera now and finish my square. You please pause and uh, complete this round. This is what it's gonna look like. Finishing the round with slip stitch in the first trebles, first cluster of trebles, and chain one. Don't worry if it's pulling slightly. If you don't like, you can add amount of chains, but it looks good. You don't want it to be wavy because uh, you are going around with uh, either single crochets, double crochets, whatever your pattern uh, asks you to do. I will change the color. Oh, just hide it, this one. Right, let's change the color and I will go with double crochets around. Let's start with the corner. No, let's start with the side. I will go around with double crochets. So making chain one because um, I already have got kind of a chain when I just uh, attached the yarn. And now I'm going with double crochet on this first uh, three chain space. Place as many double crochets as you want. I will be placing three double uh, four double crochets on this first spot four double crochets on the second I reached the corner so I'm making uh, the corner it is this stitch. This is where I'm gonna make it looks like over here, but I want to make it over there. Maybe it doesn't matter. I'm making two double crochets, three chains and two double crochets. This is how I will make the corners. And then repeat the pattern. Four double crochets on the chain space. And again four double crochets. If your yarn is thicker you probably may need less double crochets. If your yarn is thinner you may need more double crochets. It's nothing wrong with adjusted exact pattern for your tension or for your yarn. This can be a scrap yarn project. I am finding the yarn that is laying around in my stash and you can see this pink was thicker than this uh, beige one now and that's all right. Let's make another corner and then I, I will turn the camera off and let you finish this 
sometimes the yarn tangles and that's all right and I'm in the next corner so I'm making the same pattern, two double crochets, chain two to double crochets. And I will show you how it looks. Oh, three chains. Wanted to make three chains. And this is one side. So I will I'm going around making four double crochets, four double crochets, four double crochets, four double crochets, and in the corner it will be two double crochets. Oh, I have made three. Two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets. And we will repeat all around. This is perfect square as I promised. Beautiful square. You can block it uh, just to give it better shape but I, I think it's perfect size and everything so let's finish it with perfect finish well I said okay So you need to imitate this slip stitch, this last stitch, right? So I insert the yarn through the next stitch and I want to take this end inside this stitch. So I want to come out from this side over there and take the yarn through. Like this. And this will look perfect. Now you can hide this tail around. And I will do the same with uh, all other tails. So what do you think about this pattern? What do you think about this square? Do you think it will be good for a blanket or cardigan? You can put in a comment either you like this pattern or you're not sure. Thank you for watching.